The Brone HE Series. Welcome to your new Brone HE Series High Efficiency Air Exchanger. This video will help the installer learn the balancing steps with the help of the new wall control. All steps for the unit installation, including the connecting of ducts and drain tubing, remain unchanged. This new product line series requires the use of the new wall control to perform the balancing. The HE wall control is the only main wall control compatible with this unit. Do not install another wall control model. It's important to note that you will require the following to perform the balancing. The HE series main wall control, a 0 to 0 0.5 inch water pressure gauge and two plastic tubes, the balancing chart and preset table located on the unit. Since you will be needing the control close to the unit to perform the balancing, we recommend that you use a separate control or connect the control temporarily to the unit. Make sure the unit is unplugged from the power source. Remove the panel door by lifting the door up while open at 90 degrees. Open the side panel to access terminal blocks. A is the one for main control connection only and B is the one for auxiliary control and furnace interlock. Pull the required connectors out from the unit board. Run the end of the control wires through the grommet located on the unit wall as shown. For the main control terminal block, you must strip the end of the main control cable to access the four wires. Strip the end of each wire using a small flat blade screwdriver. When stripping the wires, ensure to remove only the necessary length of sheath in order to prevent short circuits. Connect each wire to its corresponding terminal by referring to the sticker affixed on the unit. Yellow wire to Y, black wire to B, red wire to R, and green wire to G. Once the terminal block connections have been made, reinstall them on the unit PC board. You are now ready to perform the balancing. Seal all the unit ductwork with tape and close all windows and doors. Turn off all exhaust devices such as range hood, dryer, and bathroom fans. The special design of these units, combined with the new wall control, now offers a great feature. No automatic defrost cycle will perform during the balancing steps. You may choose between two easy balancing options. Preset speeds, where you will only need to balance the unit on turbo speed. Many preset speed ranges are available on these unit models. Use these speed ranges for balancing the unit using a specific CFM, which you'll find on the inside panel door of the unit. Custom speeds, which adjust turbo speed and balance the unit. Then set continuous, 20, 40, 60 minutes override, and recirculation speeds. Place the pressure gauge on a level surface and adjust it to zero. According to the airflow to be measured, connect tubing from gauge to stale airflow or the fresh airflow pressure tap. Be sure to connect the tubes to their appropriate high-low fittings. If the gauge drops below zero, reverse the tubing connections. The unit balancing chart and the unit preset speed table are affixed on the unit behind the right panel. Use the balancing chart to convert pressure values read from the pressure gauge to airflow CFM values. While balancing, the wall control screen displays which airflow to connect the pressure gauge. Press and hold both middle and lower buttons for 10 seconds. Program icon starts flashing. A 10 second countdown appears. Press any button to enter program mode. If there is no button pressed before the end of the countdown, the unit will go back to its previous mode. As well, you need to know the following. Press on upper button to raise the value. Press on lower button to lower the value. Press on middle button to accept. 01 speed value, which is a preset value, will appear on screen. Press on the lower button to lower the value in order to access custom speed settings. Press on the upper button to raise the value and reach the preset table value you need. Write the selected preset speed on the label as it will disappear by pressing the accept button. 
Press the middle button to accept the chosen selection. The program icon continues flashing, showing the motor speed value, the stale airflow arrow where to install the pressure gauge tubing, and the turbo speed value to be set. Press on the upper button to raise the value. If you don't see the pressure gauge move, make sure the tubing is connected to the proper airflow. Check the pressure gauge along with the unit balancing chart until the desired airflow is reached. Take note of the setting value at this step, as it will disappear by pressing the Accept button. Press the middle button to accept the chosen percentage. At this step, you must first install tubing on fresh airflow pressure tabs and take the reading and adjust. Press on the lower button to lower the value. Check the pressure gauge along with the unit balancing chart until the desired airflow is reached. Take note of the setting value at this step, as it will disappear by pressing the Accept button. Press the middle button to accept the chosen percentage. If you have selected the preset speeds balancing option from 01 and higher, the balancing is now completed. If you have chosen custom speed, adjust the airflow to the desired CFM value. Press the upper button to raise the value. Take note of the setting value at this step, as it will disappear by pressing the accept button. Press the middle button to accept the chosen percentage. According to the installation, the arrow on the screen will display which airflow will have to be set, fresh or stale. Connect pressure gauge accordingly. At this step, the screen will show you the bath fan icon value to be set. Adjust the airflow to the desired CFM value. Take note of the setting value at this step as it will disappear by pressing the accept button. Press the middle button to accept the chosen percentage. Adjust the airflow to the desired CFM value. Adjust the airflow until the reading on the pressure gauge reaches the desired CFM value. And take note of the setting value at this step as it will disappear by pressing the accept button. Press the middle button to accept the chosen percentage and exit the menu. The custom speed balancing process is now completed. You may refer your customers to the how to use and maximize your control video to learn more about the use of the control available on our website. Good work! Now that you've followed all these steps and completed your installation, the air exchanger is now ready to function at optimum levels. Welcome to the future of fresh air. Grown HE Series. Best performance combined with best energy efficiency. The leader in indoor air quality.